The woke crowd is now going after James Madison, a key architect of the Constitution. A leftist donated millions of dollars to the estate of Madison's home, and now tourists there are taught all about slavery and racism, but not about the Constitution. One disillusioned man, after plunking down the $35 entry fee, called the visit a one-hour critical race theory experience disguised as a tour. And so it is that in James Madison's own home, our fourth president and a key architect of the Constitution is relentlessly attacked for not living up to today's standards. Madison, though a slave owner, helped create a framework for one day abolishing slavery. By the standards of their contemporary world, America's founders were deeply progressive in their desire to eliminate slavery and far out of step with most of the rest of the world. In number 42 of the Federalist Papers, Madison explains the constitutional provision that would allow the federal government to abolish the slave trade two decades after its ratification. Quote, it ought to be considered as a great point gained in favor of humanity that a period of 20 years may terminate forever within these states, a traffic which has so long and so loudly upbraided the barbarism of modern policy, end quote. Americans need to learn the true history of our rich past. Yes, America has a checkered past with slavery and segregation, but so does the rest of the entire world in their own way. And the principles of founders like Madison were on the forefront of ending these evils. We will not move toward a positive future if we continue to distort our past as the woke mobs now do. As James Madison himself once pointed out, a well-instructed people alone can be permanently a free people. For D. James Kennedy Ministries, I'm Jerry Newcomb.